Jerry, a very important and very deserved three points tonight. Mark, how good were we tonight? Seriously. Wow. That, that, oof. That's up there, that performance, honestly. As, as away performances go, even if you if you turned up and put in that performance at home, that's that's way up there, that. That's one of the best ones of the season. Because there's a lot of things that go into this. Obviously, we knew the position in the league. Um, I've been reading bits where people are starting to doubt us and saying that we were really poor on Saturday. Well, we are allowed an off day as well. That's OK. Um, we got things wrong on Saturday. I got things wrong on Saturday. We spoke about it in the dressing room. I think Saturday's debrief after the game was probably one of the best and most constructive one that I've witnessed in the dressing room since I've been here because there was a bit from me where we knew the boys had to do better and a bit back from the boys and then at the end it finished with a little clap and a round of applause because we knew we were energised to go to this one. So coming into it, we knew our shape. The boys spoke about how they wanted to go. Obviously, we're missing wide players, so we have to be a bit more creative with it. Um, and then Joe Reigns is injured, obviously, so... We looked here and that team there, that back four, played together in a run where we played Weymouth and they'd run beaten in five games. And we got confidence from that. So <clears throat> I thought right the way through the pips, the distances, we never allowed them to get any foothold whatsoever on the game. And um, we've dominated it. We've dominated the game and come away. And if it means you just win by one goal, which is an outstanding goal, fine. I mean, defensively, I thought superb, really. There was a lot of... Aerial bombardment on those big forwards like Bloomfield to deal with. You said it's big man, little man, traditional sort of that front difficult to deal with. But they didn't really have too much Bloomfield in the barn in the second half. Not really much else. No, I've seen I've seen those two destroy teams this season. I've been here before. You know, I've watched them against St Albans. I went down and watched them against Torquay. Good side, the overloading wide areas, hit big diagonals. You got to be cute against Bloomfield because it teams you at times you don't want to latch on too tight because he'll roll you. You got to get cover around. I thought our wide players worked back in really well. We we worked that out in the first ten minutes. There was overloads wide, and we did we send out a centre back to go and cover outside our full backs. But we decided our wide players come back in, and then one of our strikers dropped back in. If you notice in a wide area, so it meant we were really compact. We could win the second balls and land on them. I thought we were that's the best we've been at winning second balls this season. Two midfield boys, great, um, and it's a wonderful goal to win it. Listen, we we should have gone in probably two up, and that's the hardest bit. We know we're on top. But we just spoke about just putting our foot on the gas, not about control it. Go again. Can we go again? Can we can we press them when we're ready to press? If you notice in a round, it's a mid block. We were pressing mid third, real short bursts over short distances, made it difficult for them to deliver any quality. And then we hooked balls on when they dropped sometimes, and then we played with a bit of control. Yeah, I thought the balance of the team defensively and defensively tonight was spot on. Um, we got it right, the team was right, and the boys got it right. Do you worry sometimes it's not going to be a night they miss an early penalty, but then yeah. reacted so well from it and were a much better team in the first half and throughout, really? Honestly, Mark, I know it's easy to say now. I never felt I never felt as if we were going to concede tonight. Honestly, I know Boosie's had to pull off a wonderful save before it was offside, by the way. But um, then it is a great save when he's called upon. I, I never felt as if we were under real, any real trouble tonight. I felt as if we looked secure. As I said, the distances between the units, the distances in the units were great. The front two were making it difficult for their back line. And I thought we looked to threat when we got it as well. And like I said, we should have scored more goals. We didn't. I've got no problem whatsoever with Cody Cook. He's been unbelievable for us. And his contribution in this game tonight was immense. Absolutely immense. The amount of flick-ons he wins, the amount of times he gets his body in and wins fouls, links to play for us alongside Scott who just runs those channels, works tirelessly in there for us. Um, so that's no problem. No problem whatsoever. I know he'd be disappointed because there's two penalties. We're not going to highlight that as a group. We haven't tonight. We've, we've kept encouraging him. All players have got emotions. All players have got feelings. It's important we recognise we have to keep bigging him up because he's been unbelievable this season. So we move on from that and we get a great goal. It's a great move. Real calmness here. Ball back to Danny Greenslade. Wonderful left foot cross. And for a young man who's come in, you know, I said to you, when we brought him in, he can make a difference. We've had to be patient because of the FA Youth Cup. It's a great left foot finish. Really is in the far post. Got himself in that area where we want them tracking the far post. Deservedly. And then... After that, there's no trouble for us. We, we we want to try and get the second, but we sit out, I mean, seven minutes, and then where the referee's got seven minutes from, God, that's that's not nice. But again, in that seven minutes, I never felt as if we were under any duress um, and a, a real confidence-boosting performance away from home. Yeah, we can tell it's a good performance because you didn't bring any of them off. You didn't want to upset the apple cart, no. as they said on commentary. You sometimes have maybe wingers running on empty, but yeah. you fair, the likes of Freer and Yeboah and Wilson and players who worked tirelessly stayed out there and were still... Running around at the end. No, the contribu- I got some real experience on the benchmark and some real contributions from them as well. They've been great, those lads. You know, James and Isaac on there and I've got Ewan has been around a long time now with us. He understands it. 
he, luckily now it's not a knee problem with you and we find out that he's, his, his feet are going inverted, slightly flat-footed, so he gets some orthotics fitted. That gives him confidence that his knee's OK. I make no apologies for not putting them on. We could have put it on and the lads might have been cold and not quite got that shape at possession for us. I kept checking with Elliot. Ephraim will run. He'll do five games, Ephraim. Honestly, he's such a fit boy. Um, so we check in with them. We'll have to check in with them again now, but this sets up a wonderful game at home, honestly. Um, I'm really pleased. That's a, this is a tough place to come with all that pressure, that anxiety that comes with it. But we stayed really controlled the whole night. And I think the fans we brought up here, the ones that did, did come, they saw a really strong Bath City support. Um, performance, the support, honestly, was immense. We were we were allowed in the home crowd. There's only 500 in it. Um, and we were allowed in them. So, um, compliment to our players, honestly. They've been great. We'll um, we'll get back in now. We'll have something to eat. We'll travel back and um, we'll get them in on Thursday. So, so in our own hands now, yeah. another game with Torquay United. Many fans claim it as being the best afternoon at Twerton Park. That game back in January 2019. Nice. Hoping for another classic or will a, a forgettable no. win do? No, 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 no. None of that. None of that stuff. I want a nice control 1-0 win if we can. I mean, what it does set up is, I know tickets have been going well, but I'd encourage everyone to come along. We need them again. Honestly, you look at this group, I've said it all season, this group is is probably what it is. It's the best group I've had in togetherness, spirit. There's no egos in there. They're all very humble. The relationship between the staff and the players is just the best I've ever seen. Honestly, it's been great. We're really, over two years together, we're starting to get to know each other. Those little tiny details now behind it. Conversations that went on yesterday between me and players after Saturday. And the support with the, the fans as well. And I feel it at Twerton. That's why I think Saturdays are going to be a great day. I feel that I feel that togetherness. I feel that connection with the fans. Saturday was too flat and that was down to us. I said there wasn't enough big performances from us. Not enough character. But that wouldn't happen this Saturday. This Saturday we're going to have big characters, big performances. And hopefully a big attendance. Final one, Kieran Parcells, 100th appearance this evening. Uh, you could have another player. I think Dan Greensay could hit it by the end of the season as well. That could be three, making 100 inside two seasons, which is a remarkable, really. You need those players to be durable, and they certainly have so consistent their performances. Well, it's continuity, Mark. It really is. It's, um, that's, what, that's, what, that's what, if you keep, I said to you when I reached my milestone the other week, it's, it's, it's why we're getting results. It's, no, it's not rocket science. It's because players know what we do. We know what they do. They know what they do within that, that team I picked tonight. You look at that back four, they all know what they do. They're all covering each other. They all understand the two midfields in front. Like I said, Elliot, two strikers, young Ephraim is the exception in that. But he's born to it brilliantly. Um, so I'm pleased when these boys keep reaching these milestones, it means that, you know, we have to work really hard to keep them. And um, and these players are on a... I said to them on Saturday, I want to improve your lives. And if we do well, it does. It means you get better contracts. It means you can go and do the things you want to do in your life. And it's maybe a corny thing to say, but it means a lot. And it means a lot to us as a group. So we... We haven't got the job done. We know what we want to do. Um, and we've got a lot of work to do. It's not We're not coming here and sitting on the coach and saying we've done the job. We haven't by no means. We can still get bitten, but we're, um, we've put ourselves in a good position to go and do it. It's in our hands, like you say. Thanks, Jerry. Cheers. Thanks, Martin. Cheers, Martin.